Everyone who visited Lake Garda knows the beautiful Scaliger castle in Sirmione, but did you know that there is also a ghost lurking inside this beautiful manor house? Hmm, okay, I will now tell you the whole story, but first, watch a fox, I'm Lawrence, and my aim is to show you many places around the world from my curious human perspective. Before I start, help me to grow this project, snap me a like and subscribe. Coming back to us, to inaugurate this new series on Lake Garda, I could only start my journey in one of the most famous and visited places in the area. I'm talking about Sirmione and its famous Scaliger Castle, so that took October morning I parked my spaceship at the base of the famous Sirmione Peninsula which stretches 4 kilometers into Lake Garda and after a 10 minute walk I reached the entrance to the famous Scaliger Castle. This beautiful manor house was built in the second part of the 14th century by the La Scala family, a dynasty that ruled the city of Verona for 125 years. Well, it's beautiful, isn't it? You want to know more about the legend of Sirmione? Okay, then let's begin our story. Legend is it that long ago in this castle lived a young married couple, the beautiful Arice and her husband Ebengardo. It was a dark, creepy and rainy night when someone knocked on the castle door. Who could it be? They asked themselves. The answer was a young Venetian knight named Elaberto who was seeking shelter from the storm. Of course, noble knight, why won't the couple let him in? What could have gone wrong? Many things, but really this is not the right time to tell them. Don't worry, we'll come back later. Now I have to hurry. Okay, a little advice to you fellow travelers, if you decide to visit this incredible place you should definitely check the timetables before because they are crazy. Don't be like me who while visiting the castle I overheard by chance a conversation between two castle managers and found out that the Catullus caves would be closed in a couple of hours. And it was Sunday. What? I thought they were open all day, so of course I ran, but this time I was lucky. So I got my ticket and started shooting straight away. Catullus caves are not actually caves, but the remains of one of the largest Roman residential villas in northern Italy. Built in the 1st century BC, we do not know if they were actually built or inhabited by Catullus, but the complex was named after a lyric in which the poet spoke of the beloved house of Sirmione. However, it has been studied by many and is already something of a mystery, but uh, it is certainly the most important evidence of the Roman period in the Sirmione area. From there, if you are a photographer, you have a great opportunity to take really amazing shots. After the visit it was time to return to the village and the castle, but where were we with our legend? Oh yes, Elaberto, the Venetian knight, actually a very rude fellow. Infatuated with Arice's beauty, he sneaked into her rooms to kidnap her, but the girl began to scream and so he killed her with his sword. 
In the meantime, Ebengardo, attracted by the noise, came to help her, but when he saw that she was dead, he killed Elaberto in cold blood. From that moment on, it is said that on dark, stormy nights, one can hear the wailing of the man and uh, see his shadow wandering around the castle. Don't worry, if you are not a Venetian knight, you are safe. After the castle and the Catullus case, I decided to wander around a bit to show you how beautiful this destination is. Then, unfortunately, it was time to return to the base, but no worries. I realized something very important that day, namely... That if a Venetian knight should knock on your door on a stormy night, it is best to feed it to your pet dragon immediately. <laughs>